is Aprajita. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. And in this video, we are looking at smart licensing using policy. So smart licensing has been around for six years or so. And fundamentally, it is a way to manage your entitlements so that your licenses are centrally managed. It helps to track the licenses, make adjustments, and make better purchasing decisions. In addition, it also allows you to know how many licenses are being consumed and it tells you if the device 9800 is in compliance or not. The smart licensing enhancement that was introduced in iOS XE release 17.3.2 is an improvement on the smart licensing processes and tools to reduce the back office connectivity needs for these smart licensing enabled network devices. And it enables them to start up in a non-eval mode. This new evolution is called smart licensing using policy and it is really targeted at making the interaction of the Cisco Wireless 9800 controller with the CSSM cloud much simpler. In scenarios where the customer does not want to connect their devices to the network, at least not right away, what smart licensing using policy addresses is the experience of customers when they bring up their devices. We want the device to work out of the box. Because prior to this enhancement, it was mandatory that all devices come up in an eval mode. Now this eval mode is going away and the device will just come up as ready for production at day one. The customer can start using 9800 controller right away and the controller is automatically going to collect usage information for reporting. And uh, once it's finally connected to CSSM cloud, it will sync that information back to Cisco. This is a seamless upgrade and a migration process from the smart licensing to smart licensing using policy. And the intent is that customers will only need to upgrade the software of their device to iOS XE version 17.3.2 or 17.4.1 in order to benefit from this new design. So to highlight the main differences between smart licensing and smart licensing using policy. As mentioned, with smart licensing, the device comes up in an eval mode. It then needs to complete a registration process before it can be in compliance. The registration requires a token which is tied to the smart account and virtual account. So the device has some awareness of the SA and the VA. Uh, and we also have a special type of reservation code uh, with smart licensing for offline customers called the SLR. On the smart licensing using policy side of things, 9800 controller just comes up, begins recording usage of licenses, and this is stored in a trusted store on the device that is then periodically synced, either using a utility called CSLU, Cisco Smart Licensing Utility, which collects the data and sends it to Cisco, or the same can also be done directly or manually by uploading the files into CSSM in an offline mode. Also, the device, which is the controller, needs to have no information or knowledge about the smart and the virtual account if the CSLU is being used to sync the data. There is no SLR with this new model because we have a different way of setting policy values, which can achieve the same in a more convenient way. The way the controller reports usage records is that it can directly be reported at the factory when the device syncs, or once it reaches the customer site using Direct Connect to CSSM or via CSLU. The CSLU can operate in both a pull mode where it pulls information from the device using NetConf Yang and ResConf APIs, or a push mode where you can point the controller at the CSLU and the controller sends reports to the CSLU and CSLU forwards them to Cisco CSSM at policy directed intervals. With respect to reporting, we have a concept of policies. The policy directs the devices on how often they need to report usage information for the licenses. When a box is shipped with the image, it has a default policy set, which can be modified using the policy editor on CSSM to increase or decrease the frequency of usage updates. The system components are the end devices, in our case, the 9800 controllers. This includes the 9800L, the CL, Cloud, 
for the 1940, the 1980, as well as EWC on APs and 9K switches. CSLU is a lightweight Windows application that can be used to pull usage records from the 1900 and report that to CSSM. And it's a microservice deployed at the customer site. It can also run on CSSM on-prem satellite as well as on Cisco DNA Center. Putting the different pieces together in a broader architecture, the customer will place an order in CCW. We have mandated smart account at the time of purchase. In CCW, we have introduced the PNP license queue and the device ships to the customer location is booted up and can start using the software as is. It records the usage information on the device, which is then sent using pull or push models to CSLU, which then reports to CSSM in the cloud at policy driven intervals. With this new model, we have the option of four topologies. The first and second are with CSLU in the connected and disconnected state respectively. The third is the device directly connected to CSSM, much like today, and the fourth is device completely air-gapped from CSSM. So let's take a closer look at each of these topologies. Topology one is where 9800 is connected to CSLU and CSLU is connected to CSSM. The controller sends usage information stored on it to the CSLU, which can be via the push or the pull model. The CSLU then periodically syncs this information with the CSSM based on the policy reporting intervals. Topology two is where the 9800 is connected to CSLU, but CSLU is not connected to CSSM. So it is in an offline mode. In the offline mode, the way it syncs information to CSSM is via manually exporting and importing usage files. Topology three is the 9800 connecting directly to CSSM without the use of an intermediate CSLU. No additional components are needed here and CSSM gets the user information directly over the internet from the device based on the policy reporting intervals. No registration is needed, but trust has to be established using a token ID. And finally, topology four is where the 9800 has a complete air gap between itself and CSSM. There is no CSLU and the controller is not connected to any external entity either. The usage information is synced manually by exporting and importing usage files between the controller and CSSM. So the bottom line is that this isn't a new licensing model. It is merely an enhancement of the existing smart licensing mechanism, which reduces direct connectivity in order to be compliant, eliminates the eval mode on the 1900 controller, and eliminates the need for the device to have smart account or virtual account awareness. The initial bring up of the device is much easier. There's not much complexity for the initial startup process, and you can start using the controllers right away without getting entangled in the reporting and compliance process. To learn more, visit cisco.com slash go slash smart licensing. Thank you for watching.